Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Preston Show, episode number 15. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the NFL and my takeaways from this past weekend. We're going to talk about the World Health Organization and a study that they have determined video gaming is an actual disorder. All here on the Preston Show. Thanks for tuning in. If you would have said the Eagles would win against the Falcons and Nick Foles wouldn't throw a touchdown, everyone would have laughed at you. But this past weekend it happened. And yardage-wise, he he had a great game. Somehow, the Eagles continue to find a way to win. But the Eagles... Or the Vikings, who beat the Saints. Do I have any faith in either team winning the Super Bowl? The matchup between them, however, will be interesting. Be interesting to see what happens in that game. And really to stay on track, the Eagles' offense is performing like the best offense in the NFL, but there's a bigger story here, right? The bigger story is the Jaguars are not a pretender. They are not a pretender. And if you know anything about the Jaguars, you know that they have outstanding coaching, which has completely turned this organization around, which has completely turn this team around it's not talked about but it's a reality Uh, Doug Marone head coach and look what's going to happen now with uh, everything that's taking place with you have not only Bears fans pissed because Doug Marone couldn't do anything there uh, when he was head coach in Chicago. And then in Buffalo, struggled. But with the Jacksonville Jaguars, a complete turnaround. But they will not be able to beat the New England Patriots and Tom Brady's Greatness and remarkable resilience on the field. And that's the best way to put it. The Patriots showed they were a more physical team than the Titans this past week. Overall, I think you really have to get down to who wants it more. And I think the Patriots, with Tom Brady at the helm, Bill Belichick as a coach, facing adversity, as always, are going to come out on top, not only beat the Jaguars, but once they do that, they're going to go to the Super Bowl and they're going to beat uh, probably the Eagles. Because the Vikings having to go up to that cold is not going to bode well for them. So... I think overall, it's it's been a good season for the NFL in terms of play on the field and a terrible season for the extracurricular activities. And those are my takeaways. The World Health Organization has determined that too much video gaming is an actual addiction, as, as worse as cigarettes or alcohol. Video gaming is good for these reasons. This is what I'd like to focus on. It builds hand-eye coordination. It prevents street crime. How? Because you're inside playing the game. It gives creative people an outlet to explore, develop, and enhance their skills. The only fallout that you could possibly see from this 
is possibly losing some investment. But mind you, the only problem is it might be too late for that. Competitive gaming is on TV. Sports teams are drafting esports teams. Video gaming is at a peak. Not the tip of the iceberg. Virtual reality market still barely touched. As a great video game designer, there's more investment in video games than movies in today's world. And that's from a great video game designer when he spoke with IGN. We have to take note of that. We have to understand that. And we have to continue to look at it as a better option than some of the other activities that are out there. But we also have to understand that it's something that should be handled and completed in moderation. Gaming, everything like that should be done in moderation. I don't recommend doing it every day. But it's understandable. And it's almost the equivalent of anything you like to do a lot or have an obsession at doing like woodwork, uh, working on cars, research, whatever it is. So really the way you got to look at it as a whole is focus on what addiction means and what a disorder means. Once you do that, then you can point and understand in what direction does it affect your life? Is it pushing you in a good direction? Is it keeping you isolated? Is it holding you back and pushing you back at the same time? So you have to look at that because if it's doing that, it's something you don't want to do and it's something you want to put down. But at the same time, it goes for just about anything you want to do. So this is really an issue that should be noted. That's why I brought it up on Monday's podcast right here on the Preston Show. You're hearing it from me, World Health Organization, determining video gaming is an actual disorder. You can be addicted to it. So from that standpoint, pay attention. Understand what's going on in your house. Understand what's going on in your life. And you will prosper. Ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Preston Show. We'll have another show for you on Wednesday. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time. As always, just like the hands of time, I'm turning it over to you.